What is up guys, it's Modded Warfare here and welcome back to another tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to improve poor Wi-Fi speeds on the PS4 if you're suffering from awful Wi-Fi speeds like I am. As you can see here I'm getting 6.5 megabits per second download speed and 800 kilobits per second upload speed. Now to some of you that may seem like a decent speed result but the amount of the kind of speed that I get in on my line is 32 roughly, 32 megabits per second download speed and about 2 megabits per second upload speed and as you can see here this result is nowhere near that and I've had much worse speeds than this before where I can't even connect to PSN because even the download speed is down into the kilobits per second sometimes so there's a definite problem with the PS4's Wi-Fi and I've done a couple of tests with my computer which sits right next to the PS4 it's the same distance away from the router as the PS4 and I've tried using a 2.4 gigahertz adapter like what the PS4 uses in the computer and this is the speed result I'm getting on the computer so 20 megabits per second down 2 megabits per second up so there's a definite issue with the PS4's Wi-Fi speed right now because it's nowhere near what my average speed should be so in this video I'm going to show you a couple of different techniques that I use to improve the Wi-Fi speed in the PS4 and get it up to a more respectable level that it should be at to sort of match the same kind of speeds I'm getting on my computer. So first thing we're going to have to do, the first technique I'm going to show you involves um, logging into the router. So we're going to need um, on a, we need, need to get on a computer to do that. So I'm going to go onto the computer and show you guys what to do from there. Okay, so we're over to the computer here, and what you're going to want to go ahead and do is open up the Start menu, type in CMD into the search bar, and press Enter and that will load up the command prompt. In the command prompt you want to type in ipconfig and that will display all the information about the different network adapters that are on your computer. Find the one that's providing you with the internet, so for me that's the wireless network connection because I'm using a Wi-Fi card or a wireless adapter in my computer. If you're using an ethernet cable then you're looking for some kind of local area connection. So mine's the wireless adapter here, so I can look for default gateway. That's the address that you're going to want, is the default gateway. Copy this address or note it down. And what you're going to want to do is type that address, that default gateway, into the browser or, or into the URL bar of your internet browser and press enter. That will take you onto your router's homepage. Now what you need to bear in mind here is that the router home page normally has a it's locked behind a username and password there's authentication there so it'll ask you for a username or password when you go on the router um, in order to get that username and password sometimes it's on a sticker on the router sometimes you can just look up your router's make and model on google and search for default default login or default username password and you'll find it on the internet head on to for me i need to go into the advanced settings where it asks me for login credentials and then I head into the wireless section. Now, all router pages look different, so you're just going to have to look for your wireless section, whatever it'll be under different. So it'll be under different tabs on your router. And what you want is the 2.4 gigahertz wireless, because that's what the PS4 is using. And the one thing you're going to want to change in here is the channel selection or the Wi-Fi channel. Now, mine's currently set to six. A lot of routers are limited to only using a certain number of channels. This one, for example, can only use channel 1, channel 6, and channel 11. So I have to, I only have those three options. Now, the reason I'm on channel 6 is it's because the least it's the least cluttered Wi-Fi network in the neighborhood. The more routers on the neighborhood using the, using the same channel as each other can cause uh, you to get less speeds because the, the uh, channel is too cluttered with all these other routers using the same channel. So I try to use the one that has that's other routers in the neighborhood are not using. However, sometimes the PS4 can benefit from just changing it to a different channel. So you can you saw my speeds were something like 6.9 or something megabits per second. So I'm going to try changing this to channel 1 and see if that makes a difference and click apply. As soon as you've changed the channel and you've clicked apply go back onto the PS4 and do another connection test, which I'm going to go ahead and do right now. Okay, so as you can see, what's basically happened after changing the Wi-Fi channel is we've now got a slight increase in connection speed. I've done a few tests now, and it's all roughly like 7.5, 8 megabits per second, 8.2. Uh, so it's 
pretty, it has increased, there's a definite noticeable increase, but not a huge margin. So the next thing we can do to increase the Wi-Fi speeds is to change the DNS server to a different DNS server than it's using automatically. What I recommend doing is trying to basically change the DNS to something like Google's DNS server um, or Open DNS server. I'll, I'll link a bunch of uh, DNS server addresses that you can try in the description. Um, but I definitely recommend trying to use uh, Google's DNS first of all, because that's usually the fastest. So let's go ahead and give that a shot just now. So what you're going to have to do is re uh, reset up your internet connection uh, using Wi-Fi. Select custom as the option and select your router. And then you just want to set automatic IP address. Uh, do not specify DHCP. And then for DNS settings, this is the only one where we select manual. And then in primary DNS, you want to enter Google's DNS, uh, which is 8.8.8.8. So that is Google's DNS. And then their secondary DNS, 8.8.4.4 is their secondary. And then click next. And then just set everything else to automatic. Do not use proxy and test internet connection. And hopefully we'll get uh, a faster speed than 8 megabits per second this time. So as you can see, we've got a huge increase. We've gone up to 18.3 megabits per second, which is in the range that the computer was getting on a 2.4 gigahertz adapter. It got about 20 to 21, whereas this is on 18.3, which, you know, do, doing a few more speed tests will probably get around between 18 and 20. So it is looks like we've got the speed up to what it should be on 2.4 gigahertz. But I'm going to show you guys one other method that you can do to increase the speed of, of all of, of these two things, changing the Wi-Fi channel and changing different DNS servers has not made a big enough impact for you. Then there's another option that we can try. And what we can do is we can actually share the computer's internet connection with the console. So if you have a much stronger wireless connection on your computer, maybe you have a five gigahertz um, wireless adapter like I do in my computer, you can share that with the console so that the PS4 can actually use that five gigahertz adapter in your PC to get you a much faster wireless connection. So in order to do this, you, you need to have the computer next to your PS4. You need to have them close by, long uh, close enough to connect an ethernet cable to the console and another and the other end of the ethernet cable to the computer. Um, if you have a laptop, then you can just move the laptop next to your PS4. But if you have a desktop computer, then it needs to be close by. So I'll show you guys how you set that up. And then we'll hopefully have the best possible speed that we can get uh, through wireless on the PS4. Okay, so what you're gonna to want to go ahead and do is plug one, get an ethernet cable and plug one end into the back of the PlayStation 4 and plug the other end into the ethernet port on your computer or laptop. And from there, go onto the computer, head into the start menu, head to control panel, head to um, network and internet, then network and sharing center. And once you're in here, you wanna go over to the left and you'll have change adapter settings. You wanna click on that. And then you have a list of all the different network adapters that are on your computer. So you'll have your wireless network connection, which is the Wi-Fi connection in your computer. And then you'll also have some kind of local area connection um, or local area network connection. That is going to be your PS4 because that's the Ethernet port in the computer that the PlayStation is plugged into. So what you can go ahead and do is rename this to something like PS4, just for reference. And what you need to do is share the wireless connection with the PS4. So to do that, you just right click on your wireless connection. You go to properties, you head to sharing, then allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. And then you may have a drop down list. If you don't have a drop down list, it's because you only have one other adapter on in the network's uh, adapters, which is going to be your PS4. So there won't be a drop down menu. If you have other adapters like I do, there'll be a drop down menu for different ones that you can select. Select the PS4 or local area connection if you haven't renamed it and then click OK. And that will start sharing the wireless connection with the PlayStation 4. So now we can go back onto the PlayStation 4 
and set the network settings up on the PS4. All you have to do is select wired connection on PS4 now because the PS4 is wired to the computer, but still technically a wireless connection because uh, the computer's connecting to the router through wireless and that's been shared to your PS4 through a network cable. So let's go ahead and see if that makes uh, any difference. So we need to set up an internet connection again because this time we're not using Wi-Fi, we're using a LAN cable which is connecting the PS4 to the computer. So we select LAN cable then we select custom setup again because I still want to put Google's DNS server in there because that's faster for me on the PS4. So I'm going to do automatic IP address, do not specify DHCP, manual DNS, primary, well, it's already got it in there for me uh, as Google's DNS 8.8.8. .8 .8. 8.8 and 8.8.4.4 .4 for the secondary. Click Next. Automatic MTU settings. Do not specify proxy server. And now we'll test internet connection and see if we get an improved speed. So this connection should hopefully be better because my computer does have a 5 gigahertz wireless adapter connected to it, which gives it much faster speeds than 2.4. And now that the PS4 is sh that it's the computer is sharing that connection with the PS4, we should get a much hopefully a much stronger connection than we were just using the PS4's built-in wireless connection. So as you can see a much much faster speed and that is the best possible speed that I can get on my internet connection. If I did a wired connection test uh, straight to the router I'd probably get about 30 or 31 megabits per second down. That's about the maximum speed that comes in on my line and we're almost achieving that on the PS4 right here. So that is the fastest possible connection that I can get. And it's a big improvement from where we started at about 6.5 megabits per second. And now we're pretty much on 30 megabits per second. So that is basically it. That is how you can improve your Wi-Fi. Firstly, you can try, just to recap, you can try um, changing the different Wi-Fi channels on your router to see if you can get a better speed that way. Then try changing the DNS to Google's DNS or OpenDNS, try some different DNS servers to see if you can improve the speed that way. And if you still can't get a good enough result through that, then you can share your computer's internet connection with the console to get a much faster speed if you have a much more powerful wireless connection uh, in your computer. So, so that's it for this video guys. Leave a request in the comments if you'd like to see another video on how to improve or fix the connection issues on the PS4 such as moderate NAT types or strict NAT types making it hard to connect to other players in games like Black Ops 3 and also to explain the different NAT type, type 1, type 2, type 3 and this whole message at the bottom that says network features of the PS4 might be restricted blah blah blah. I'll, if you want a video explaining that and how to fix that stuff I'll make another video. Just leave a request in the comments if you're interested in that. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and leave a like if you liked the video or found the information useful. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah.